Hello investors and traders, today I'll speak about Albemarle by Corp, it's the world uh, largest lithium producer, uh, we'll speak about technical and fundamental analysis of this uh, company and of course we'll speak about uh, its uh, dividend, uh, dividend payment. So let's have a look on fundamental parameters, we see the total score is uh, 90 from uh, 100, it's very high uh, and very high score, we see that Albemarle is the world's largest lithium producer. Our outlook for robust lithium demand is predicted upon increased demand for electrical vehicle or batteries. Albemarle produces lithium uh, from its salt uh, uh, brine deposits in Chile and the US and its uh, hard drug joint venture uh, mines in Australia. Also Albemarle, a global leader in production of brome using the flame uh, Trends and the company is also a major producer of, of oil refining uh, catalyst. So we see that it's a great uh, company with a great uh, and bright future. Let's have a look on its uh, financial position. We see a uh, mark uh, 7 uh, from 10. We see that we beat the ratio 1 and interest coverage more than 20. Very strong financial stability. Any problems with that? Uh, by the way, the ultimate score is about 4, so the probability of default is very very low for this company the marginality of this company we see gross margin more than 40 and net margin profit is uh, 36 percent so very highly marginally marginal company the outlooks we see that the the eps in the near uh, three five uh, futures uh, will grow expected to grow more than 15 percent and the total very expected to grow in uh, more than 20 percent the actual very uh, good and very strong uh, expectations uh, from this company. Let's have a look on the valuation. We see a P ratio of uh, 10, but the forward is uh, 7, so it's expected that net income will grow in the near future. And also the PS price per share is about uh, 3.5 uh, for such marginality. It's very cheap, so now the stock already uh, traded uh, the valuation is very cheap any problems with liquidity ratio the current ratio more than one and the quick ratio also uh, more than one we can see here from uh, 33 from its uh, uh, revenue the company earned in china also in korea 22 percent and about 12 percent from us uh, by the way if uh, we'll speak about the business segments the lithium uh, segment is about 70 percent uh, Bramine is 20% and Catalyst about 12% uh, uh, counts uh, from it uh, from it uh, uh, revenue. Let's have a look on the dividends uh, of uh, Albe Marley. So we see that current dividend yield is about 1%, but look, the dividend increase uh, track record is about uh, 30 years, so it's a lot. Of course, it's uh, a great company that uh, increased its dividend payments so uh, uh, for me as a dividend investor i like it uh, so much and also the analyzed three-year dividend growth about uh, uh, three percent and the dividend payout is very very low it's only um, uh, seven percent so com the company has a great opportunity to a uh, great uh, room to uh, uh, increase the dividend payment and very very aggress aggressively because here uh, dividend payout 7% seven, uh, seven, uh, percent. it's very very low let's have a look on the chart of Albe Marley so here I think using the Elliott wave it was the first wave look since 2020 it was the fourth wave the second the third the fourth and the fifth by the way here uh, usually the uh, the third wave is the largest wave in the impulse so here it uh, looks uh, very uh, highly uh, highly the probability of this is very high and also here uh, we may see a triangle here the fourth wave usually it can be a triangle so in this case I guess uh, yeah this looks like yeah it's really a triangle so uh, for sure it can be the first wave now we are in a correction the the second wave and then most probably I'm expecting another another move up it, it will be uh, the third wave, the, so the fourth and the fifth. So uh, anyway, uh, the correction here is maybe uh, fini already finished, or it, uh, the, the second wave it can be ABC move. Uh, anyway, uh, we may see the stock maybe it uh, can be down another uh, fifteen percent, but then I'm expecting uh, for this uh, stock to grow. So my target for this stock, uh, let me tell. I will tell you my target uh, using the 
uh, Fibonacci levels. So look, it was the, the first, the second. Uh, so my ta my target is uh, 400 bucks. So uh, in this case, the potential from the current level is about 70% uh, uh, up. Uh, so uh, generally speaking uh, now the the stock is uh, uh, very uh, valuated uh, very cheap cheap uh, and uh, the dividend uh, now the dividend yield itself is not so high but we saw that 30 years uh, for a row the company continued to to increase in dividend payments and also uh, after a correction we may see that the, the stock already down uh, 30 percent so if you look at uh, looked a nice uh, uh, chemical stock, a nice uh, dividend stock that uh, can continue to increase the dividend payments with a great, uh, great uh, potential to grow. Uh, of course, I'm speaking about uh, not short, short term. Uh, it uh, uh, can be a nice holding your portfolio for uh, uh, five tens, uh, for uh, five years, for ten years. So Albemari, it can be a great, uh, great dividend stock in your portfolio. So uh, generally speaking, uh, yeah, great. Uh, great stock uh, of course we may see this stock a little bit lower uh, in the near uh, near future because the wave c uh, can be a little bit lower it can be 175 bucks but then then anyway i'm expecting to see the third wave and usually of course it's uh, supposed to be higher uh, higher than the here the 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 wave uh, uh, number two so uh, if you like this video if you like my analysis of course press the like button don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you on the next time bye